Hey guys, it's all good today. I have another what I eat in a day video for you. This time it's a high protein vegan edition. Lately I've been trying to include more protein in my diet for a few health reasons and I've come up with so many yummy recipes that I really wanted to share it with you. Let's get started. As always, the first thing I make every morning is lemon water and I've been loving adding chia seeds to it. Chia seeds are high in minerals, vitamins and antioxidants. They're a great source of omega-3, fiber and you guessed it, protein. I usually add one or one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds to two cups of warm water and squeeze half a lemon into it. I stir it really well so that the chia seeds don't clump up together and let it sit for about 5 minutes to let the seeds form a gel-like consistency. Drinking lemon water in the morning has become a habit for me already and it's done amazing things for my health. I think adding chia seeds keeps it more interesting and of course more nutritious. For breakfast, I'm making a green power smoothie bowl. To make it, I use two frozen bananas, some flaxseed, chia seeds, one cup of spinach, vanilla, almond milk, one or two dates almond butter and a scoop of vegan protein powder. The one that I'm using is from Garden of Life. A lot of you recommended it to me in one of my previous videos and you guys were right. It definitely tastes much better than some other protein powders, so thank you very much. To make this smoothie bowl, I combine all of the ingredients in my blender, starting with the liquids, and blend until smooth. For my smoothie bowls, I like the consistency to be something in between a smoothie and a banana and ice cream, but you can play around with the consistency by adding more or less almond milk. I love making my smoothie bowls look pretty when I have the time, so today I decided to top it with some raspberries, banana slices, mango, blueberries, a sprinkle of chia seeds, and some almond slices. Adding protein powder to the smoothie bowl is of course optional, it is a great way to make a high protein breakfast though. But there are other ingredients you can add to your smoothie or smoothie bowl for more protein. Flaxseed, chia seeds, hemp seeds, almond butter, granola, other nuts and seeds will also bump up the protein amount, and you can blend them into your smoothie or add them on top. So this was my breakfast for the day, yummy, beautiful and really nourishing. A couple of hours later I had a little tea break. I've been really into drinking mushroom teas for the past few weeks. I've drank chaga mushroom in the past and I had really good results from it. I was recently introduced to this company called Four Sigmatic. They use functional mushrooms like reishi, chaga, cordyceps and lion's mane to make delicious mushroom elixirs, coffees and superfood blends. Huge thanks to them for partnering with me on this video. They make drinking mushrooms such a pleasant and easy experience. You might think that it sounds crazy, why would you ever want to drink mushrooms? But functional mushrooms like chaga and reishi have been consumed around the world for many many years because of their amazing health benefits. They can help increase your productivity and energy, support your memory and concentration, boost your immune system, relieve stress and help you relax. I find mushrooms and especially functional mushrooms absolutely fascinating. Four Sigmatic has really good information about about them on their website. You can decide whether you want to go for mushroom coffees or mushroom elixirs, I call them mushroom teas. They also have hot cacaos and mushroom blends. And then you can decide on the specific functional mushroom depending on the benefits that you want to achieve. If you want to give drinking mushrooms a try, there is a link in the description for 15% off on your first order with Four Sigmatic. In the morning, I personally like to rotate between chaga, cordyceps, and lion's mane depending on what I have going on that day. Today, I went for chaga elixir and I had some dried mulberries with it. Mulberries are such a good little snack to go with your tea. They're really sweet and full of amazing nutrients. I didn't have a lot of time to make my lunch that day, so I decided to go for one of my newly favorite quick salads, which is an avocado chickpea salad. It only needs a couple of ingredients and about 5 minutes to put together. So of course you'll need some chickpeas, avocado, some red onion, cherry tomatoes, cilantro, olive oil and apple cider vinegar for the dressing. I quickly chop the red onion, tomatoes and cilantro and then combine all of the ingredients in a bowl and season with olive oil, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. I put the exact measurements and directions for all of these recipes on my website at feblanch.com as always. You can find the direct link in the description. I also added there the amount of protein for each meal that I had that day in case you want to know. 
I love 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 this salad. It's so simple yet it tastes amazing. It kind of reminds me a bit of what tuna salad would taste like. You absolutely have to give it a try. Before I started making dinner, I had some cherries as a snack. I knew that I was already getting a good amount of protein from breakfast, lunch and dinner so I didn't really need to include more protein in my snacks. But if you guys want to see a video for high protein vegan snacks, do let me know in the comments. For dinner, I made a really yummy green bean stew. You can change up the ingredients depending on what you have at home, but I'm using a couple of potatoes, carrot, mushrooms, onion, garlic, tomatoes, and of course green beans. I'm also going to be adding a can of cannellini beans to my stew. I've actually been able to eat more beans and legumes lately without them giving me horrible digestive problems and I'm really really happy about that. I start by cutting all of the ingredients first as you can see. Then I heat a tablespoon of oil in a large pot over medium heat. I add my diced onion and minced garlic and cook them for 2-3 to three minutes. I then add salt, black pepper, turmeric and a bit of cayenne pepper for an extra kick and let everything cook for about one minute. Next, I add three and a half cups of water and bring it to a boil. Then I add my diced potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, and green beans and cook them over medium heat for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I add diced tomatoes, cannellini beans, and check if there is enough water. You can add more water at this point if you need to. I lower the heat a bit and cook for another 30 minutes. Finally, I add half a cup of lime juice and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Give everything a good stir and cook for a couple more minutes. I serve the stew over some leftover brown rice and some microgreens on the side. I love stews, they are such a comfort food for me. I like that you can pack so much flavor and nutrition into them. If you want to add even more protein to this meal, you can sprinkle some hemp seeds on top of your stew. I like having tea after dinner, so I made myself a cup of reishi mushroom elixir. It's supposed to help you relax and prepare you for sleep. I've had some insomnia issues in the past, so this has been a great help for me. And to go with my tea, I had a couple of vegan chocolate chip cookies that I made the day before. I got the recipe from one of my favorite food blogs, I'll put the link for it in the description if you want to check it out. The cookies are made without any flour, they use almond butter as a base, so they are technically high in protein as well. But man, and do they taste amazing. I probably had six cookies at once the first time I made them. I just could not stop eating them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more of my what I eat in a day videos, I put together a playlist and you can find the link in the description or in the top right corner. As always, if you want more healthy vegan recipes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you to Forsythmatic for working with me on this video. I love their company and everything that they stand for. And if you guys are curious about functional mushrooms and want to see what health benefits they can bring into your life, definitely try their elixirs and mushroom coffees. I even got my mom hooked on them, so both of us have been drinking mushrooms pretty much every single day. They've been really kind to us to offer us a special deal, so if you can click the link in the description and you will get 15% off on your first order. I love you guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day and enjoying the last days of summer. I will see you in my next video. Bye!